Hello, I hope you are well. I'm off to see Morrissey and I'm gonna film going up there. We're going to see him in Birmingham. He's doing his solo stuff and some stuff, some songs from the Smiths and we have a bit of a road trip to get up to Birmingham. We're also staying in Birmingham because it's too far away from us to go up for one night. So we're staying in a travel lodge up there and going to see Morrissey tonight. I can't believe it's only a few hours away because I've just been counting down for so long because I booked the tickets ages ago. I just was like counting down it almost felt like it was never gonna come because it was such a long time in the future and now it's here we're driving to Birmingham now we're gonna see him tonight I can't quite believe that I'm going to a Morrissey concert tonight but I am so excited we are here we are in Birmingham it torrential rained on us so we've come to our hotel checked in and I'm just curling my hair again because of the rain. I just thought I would curl it again and then we're gonna go to the venue and we're gonna actually queue so that we can get nearer to the stage because it's not seated. So we're just gonna queue. But when we checked into the travel lodge, the lady said, oh, you know, what are you doing here in Birmingham? And I said, oh, we're going to see Morrissey. And she said, didn't she say everyone today who she's asked has said they're going to see Morrissey. So the hotel's like booked full of people who are also going to see Morrissey. We then went into the bit that's like the canteen bit and there was two men there in Smith's t-shirts. So um, it's gonna be very busy and we're gonna get there early so we can get like as close to him as possible. We are just about to go out and see Morrissey. We are gonna walk to the venue. It's about 20 minutes, but I thought I'd do a quick room tour. This is Central Birmingham Travel Lodge. So you come in, there's Dom there. Got a bathroom, shower, big mirror, then got a big bed, and this is superior, so I think it's £15 more. So just for the £15 you get more room and you get like a place to put your stuff because not every travel lodge has that. Get a coffee machine, kettle, free Kit Kats, Galaxy Hot Chocolates. This is how good if you are from Birmingham then you'll know that's the boring centre. And to that is New Street Station. So you are on top of everything here. And the venue, I believe, is, you know that, see that pointy building? Over there is where it is. Just in between somewhere here. But I think it's quite, it's like a car park. I think it's a really great location. Though to be on top of everything like that in Birmingham. And then you've got a little seat over there. You've got a seat here. I was doing my makeup here. And then a huge bed. It's nice. And then you've got a mirror. And then for there, I've just got my um, curlers because I was just curling my hair. TV. You've got this really nice map as well. Which I don't know if you can see, but it's got everything. It's like Peace Gardens. New Street Station, which when I lived here I was always going to New Street Station to visit my parents. Ball Ring, love the Ball Ring. Where's Pigeon Park? Is that St Michael's? I just know it's Pigeon Park, but it's not called Pigeon Park, is it? But I think it might be St Michael's. Digbeth, Chinese Quarter, which is where we are now. We're about here, aren't we? Would you say? Yeah. About here, between Gay Village and Chinese Quarter, kind of in the middle, is where this venue is here, where the hotel is. So we are off to see Morrissey! Also, just checked the information for the ticket, and I can't, you can't take big bags for security reasons. So thankfully, I did bring my normal little bag, but this bag, they've got how big your bag can be, and this bag is too big. I got it because I thought like the chain would look really nice with what I'm wearing, so I bought it with me, but, that's too big, so I'm quickly just trying to like transfer everything over in my bags. Also, this is what I'm wearing. I've got this dog tooth like cardigan. It's got a fur thing. And then I've got this, which my best friend Lara gave me. Gorgeous necklace. Got this jumper with these diamante details. I've got black skinny jeans. Oh, I've got my Corella Deville boots on. Let me try and show you. Aren't they like Corella Deville? When I went to go and see Dita Von Tees, I wore these as well. So they're boots that are kind of... Oh my god. Oh my god, I nearly fell. Because <laughs> I'm standing on one leg. So they're like ruched. And then... But they... Don't they remind you of the Corella Deville film? Like the live action Corella Deville? Not the latest one. The one with um, Glenn Close. Aren't they just like Corella Deville? 
We are on our way. I'm so excited. I was just with Dom. I was like, hurry up, we gotta go, we gotta go. And then he opened he opened the um door as we were going out and there was a man right there who thought I was like screaming at Dom. I was like, come on, we need to go, like joking. And then I opened the door and this man was like just staring at me. This is the Chinese quarter in Birmingham. It's part of it. You can see all the really nice green roofs. Really beautiful. We are in the queue. The entrance is over there. Right over there is the entrance. We're back here. then an incident occurred. So he took off his t-shirt, the Morrissey t-shirt he was wearing, threw it into the audience and people grabbed it and would not let go. So there was loads of people, probably about 20 people, were holding a piece of the t-shirt and wouldn't let go of it. Then he went off stage, that was the end of the song, and I knew there wasn't gonna be an encore because the security rushed over and people were like tearing the t-shirts so tearing off a bit of the t-shirt. <laughs> We are back in the hotel. I would tell you the drama that unfolded that I've just filmed. So after the gig, the gig was so good. I knew it was going to be good. I knew Morrissey was fantastic. So he came on, did all the songs that I wanted him to do. Then it was time for the encore. And I knew from other people's YouTube videos who had seen the show that he does um, Irish Blood, English Heart, which is my favourite Morrissey song. So I knew you had to be like, Morrissey, Morrissey. And then he comes out and he does that song. So he came out and he came out in a different shirt. This is how the drama begins. He came out in a Morrissey t-shirt. Did English Heart, English Blood, everyone was going mad. Uh, there were like, a there was moshing, wasn't there, like throughout the whole gig. Like we were being pushed, we were being crushed, people were pulling Dom's hair, it was going to be insane. Also, people kept throwing their drinks just in the air, so you just have drinks like poured all over you. And it was like, whatever, like we're loving the gig. I couldn't really see very well. As you can see from my footage, it was just moshing, it was jumping, but I was really enjoying it, having a great time. We were quite near the stage because as soon as we went in, we didn't get a drink. Because if you get a drink, that takes time and then you can't get near enough to the stage so we just went straight in got as near as we could probably about like five people away from the stage were we five yeah, people yeah. in front of us and then so that was fine couldn't really see him for a lot of the gig so he took off his t-shirt the Morrissey t-shirt he was wearing threw it into the audience and people grabbed it and would not let go so there was loads of people probably about 20 people were holding a piece of the t-shirt and wouldn't let go of it then he went off stage that was the end of the song and I knew there wasn't going to be an encore, encore because the security rushed over and people were like tearing the t-shirts so tearing off a bit of the t-shirt fights just broke out over the t-shirt so I had a great time seeing Morrissey I loved the whole show it does get a little bit rough and ready there is a lot of like pushing 
shoving, people throwing drinks over you. Um, but I did enjoy it. It was just the end turned feral, like full feral. Obviously, you can see from my footage, I didn't really get to see much. I didn't really get to see Morrissey much. I would love to see another day on his tour. I would love to be able to actually see, physically see Morrissey. So I will see you again soon for another video.